In today's topic, we are going to discuss about uh, the arterial supply of the pancreas. So, this topic I found one of the very complicated topic in overall vascular system of the abdomen because there are too many variations and every author says like a different version when we specifically discuss about uh, the pancreatic arteries as well as its origin. But now for this topic I stick to the 41st edition of Grey's Anatomy and the entire lecture goes along with the wordings of the Grey's Anatomy 41st edition. So if you see the pancreas, the pancreas has a very rich arterial supply by the branches from the celiac trunk by the branches from the celiac trunk as well as from the branches of the superior mesenteric artery. At the beginning, if you speak about the head of the pancreas as well as the adjoining part of the duodenum, head as well as adjoining part of the duodenum are supplied totally by four arteries. The two arteries which are coming from the celiac trunk right and the two arteries which are coming from the superior mesenteric artery. So, the two arteries which are coming from the celiac trunk what we can see by the gastro duodenal artery this is the gastro duodenal artery. So, we know the anatomy of the celiac trunk that the celiac trunk gives off common hepatic artery and the common hepatic artery gives off gastro duodenal artery. And this particular gastro duodenal artery gives off its first branch. This is called as the dotted line represents the dorsal aspect. The course is on the dorsal aspect of the pancreas, right? So it gives off the first branch, the gastro duodenal artery, which is the branch of common hepatic artery, which is the branch of celiac trunk, gives off a first branch called as posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So, this is the posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery and the same gastro duodenal artery gives off two terminal branches. One is the right gastro omental artery. This is the right gastro omental artery. At the same time, it also gives off anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So, this is the anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So, what are the two branches which are coming from the celiac trunk by means of gastro duodenal artery? One is posterior superior pancreatico duodenal. Another one is anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery. Okay. So, these two arteries actually runs along the C shaped curve of the second part of the duodenum as well as the head of the pancreas and anastomose with the branches of the superior mesenteric artery. So, now we have to see this is the superior mesenteric artery over here. The superior mesenteric artery gives off inferior pancreatico duodenal artery the branch the small course of this artery what you are seeing this is the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery. So, this particular inferior pancreatico duodenal artery again gives off two branches one is the posterior branch and another one is the anterior branch. So, the posterior branch of the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery is called as posterior inferior pancreatico duodenal artery. In the same way this is called as anterior inferior pancreatico duodenal artery. So, posterior inferior pancreatico duodenal artery anastomose with posterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery which is the branch of gastro duodenal artery. In the same way anterior inferior pancreatico duodenal artery anastomose with anterior superior pancreatico duodenal artery which is the branch of gastro duodenal artery. So, that is the reason I said that there are four arteries two are coming from the celiac trunk by means of gastro duodenal artery and two are coming from the superior mesenteric artery right. So, these two arteries which are the anterior arteries 
supply the ventral aspect of the duodenum pancreatic head as well as it also supplies to the uncinate process of the pancreas and joint to form the anterior this one this is called as anterior pancreatico duodenal arcade so what is the anterior pancreatico duodenal arcade it is formed by the anterior branches of the gastro duodenal artery as well as from the superior mesenteric arteries so the two posterior arteries what we are seeing over here supply the dorsal aspect of the pancreatic head as well as adjacent uh, duodenum it also gives important blood supply to the distal aspect of the bile duct and joint with the posterior branch of the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery to form posterior pancreatic duodenal arcade so we have anterior pancreatic duodenal arcade as well as posterior pancreatic duodenal arcade so totally four arteries are the one which supplies anterior as well as posterior aspects of the head of the pancreas as well as adjacent part of the duodenum so this is what is about the blood supply of the head of the pancreas as well as the adjacent part of the duodenum so when we specifically talk about the posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery over here so this posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery usually arises as the first branch of the gastro duodenal artery at the superior edge of the first part of the duodenum where it gives branch to the duodenum head of the pancreas as well as bile duct before anastomosing with the posterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery to form posterior pancreatic duodenal arcade in the same way the anterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery usually arises at the small terminal branch of the gastro duodenal artery together with the right gastro epiploic artery where it originates behind the first part of the duodenum that is behind the inferior border of the first part of the duodenum this one runs along the anterior aspect of the head of the pancreas where it joins with the anterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery to form the anterior pancreatic duodenal arcade so this is what is about the superior one when we same the same thing when we speak about uh, the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery usually arises from the superior mesenteric artery at the inferior border of the pancreas you can see it is arising from the inferior border of the pancreas right as uh, the common vessel with the first jejunal artery it will give from here it will give the first branch called as uh, the jejunal artery and a pancreatic duodenal trunk may also be there over here from there a jejunal artery will be formed so it mainly arises from the posterior or left aspect of the superior mesenteric artery where it divides into anterior and posterior inferior pancreatic duodenal arteries so this is what is about the blood supply of the head of the pancreas as well as the adjoining part of the duodenum so after completing the anterior as well as posterior pancreatic duodenal arcade let us move on to the one of the most controversial artery of uh, the abdominal part is called as dorsal pancreatic artery so remember one important point here that the dorsal pancreatic artery is the most controversial topic because there are too many variations in this particular artery so this dorsal pancreatic artery commonly arises from the initial 2 cm of the splenic artery for example if you see this is the splenic artery so here you can say this dotted line i can say that this is the dorsal pancreatic artery so let us assume that this dotted line is called as the dorsal pancreatic artery from the initial 2 cm of the splenic artery where you can identify the origin of the dorsal pancreatic artery although it may take origin from common hepatic artery it may take origin from the superior mesenteric artery 
or directly from the celiac trunk and the recent studies also says that it also arises from the inferior phrenic artery more commonly the right side of the inferior phrenic artery so this many variations are there but when we stick to the Grace anatomy 41st edition we need to say that it arises from more commonly it arises from the splenic artery that is the proximal part of the splenic artery so this particular artery is short and it gives off numerous uh, branches including the left terminal branch you can see here this is called as the left terminal branch and this is the right terminal branch so this artery gives off the terminal branches called as left terminal branch as well as the right terminal branch so the left terminal branch that is near the inferior border of the pancreas so on the right side it also gives off numerous arteries which run towards the neck of the pancreas so these are the numerous branches which are arising from the dorsal pancreatic artery so these numerous branches which are arising which runs towards right and supplies a part of the body as well as the neck of the pancreas right so now as I already mentioned several right sided branches run to the head of the pancreas passing either behind or in front of the superior mesenteric vein to supply the posterior as well as anterior surface of the pancreatic head and they also anastomose with the arteries of the pancreaticoduodenal duodenal arcade. So these arteries may come and join with the pancreaticoduodenal duodenal arcade. So they form the anastomotic channels over here. So that is the reason we could see the greater blood supply especially at the head as well as neck of the pancreas. So here we are discussing about the dorsal pancreatic artery. The dorsal pancreatic artery is short arises from the proximal 2 centimeters of the splenic artery. It divides into the right branch as well as left branch near the inferior border of the pancreas. right? And this left branch gives off another artery from here. This is called as transverse pancreatic artery. So here I can say this is the end of the left branch. From here another branch which arises is called as transverse pancreatic artery transverse pancreatic artery which is also called as inferior pancreatic artery so now let me explain about this particular transverse pancreatic artery so this transverse pancreatic artery is also called as inferior pancreatic artery commonly originates from the left terminal branch of the dorsal pancreatic artery it runs to the left because this is the left direction runs to the left so as i already mentioned the dotted line represents that the artery is coursing posteriorly right so it runs to the left on the posterior surface of the gland that is close to the inferior border of the pancreas where it gives off multiple branches as you can see this artery which runs along the inferior border like this so this is the dotted line this is the transverse pancreatic artery so it gives off numerous branches the numerous branches which supplies the main part of the body of the pancreas so multiple branches to the body of the pancreas also it gives off numerous branches to the tail of the pancreas and you can see here it goes and joins with the terminal part of the splenic artery so it also gives off numerous branches to the tail and numerous branches to the body of the pancreas so this is about the transverse pancreatic artery till now what are the arteries we studied anterior as well as posterior pancreatico duodenal arcades formed by the four arteries two from the celiac trunk two from the superior mesenteric artery one is the dorsal pancreatic artery we studied right so this particular dorsal pancreatic artery arises from the proximal 2 centimeters of the splenic artery divides into left as well as right branches there are numerous right branches which supply especially the neck of the pancreas and the anastomose with the arcade and we studied about the transverse pancreatic artery which is also called as the inferior pancreatic artery this transverse or inferior pancreatic artery arises from the left terminal branch of the dorsal pancreatic artery 
it runs posteriorly along the inferior border of the pancreas and it gives off numerous branches to the body as well as to the tail of the pancreas. And another important artery we need to discuss about this is the arteria pancreatica magna. We can say this is the arteria pancreatica magna. This is also called as the greater pancreatic artery. So, this arteria pancreatica magna also divides into two terminal branches. One is the left branch. I will represent it as a dotted line. It also gives of the, it also gives of the left branch and it also gives of the right branch and the left branch. This is called as the pancreatica magna, arteria pancreatica magna which is also called as the greater pancreatic artery. So, this why we are calling it as a greater pancreatic artery because this is the largest of all the pancreatic arteries. It also gives of right branch which anastomose with the dorsal pancreatic artery and it also gives of left branch. The left branch will anastomose again with the splenic artery. Arteria pancreatica magna largest branch of all the pancreatic arteries. It divides into two terminal branches. The right branch anastomose with dorsal pancreatic artery, left branch anastomose with the terminal part of the splenic artery. So, these are the important arteries of the pancreas and sometimes in some individuals, we can also see the caudal pancreatic artery. Caudal means the terminal part arises from the tail of the pancreas that is from the terminal part of the splenic artery. A small branch we can also see which is called as the caudal pancreatic artery arises from the terminal part of the splenic artery especially gives important blood supply to the tail of the pancreas. So, all these are the arteries which gives important blood supply to the pancreas. They are the pancreatico duodenal arteries superior as well as inferior from the celiac trunk as well as from the superior mesenteric artery. Another one is the dorsal pancreatic artery as well as transverse pancreatic artery which is also called as the inferior pancreatic artery. Next one is the arteria pancreatica magna and the last one is the caudal pancreatic artery. All these gives important blood supply to the head, neck, body as well as tail of the pancreas.